the HMI is, is a really unique thing because what it does is it connects humans with machines. The new generation of HMI SCADA is about making operators more effective and what we're doing is we're providing the tools to really help customers build it a lot faster, deploy it faster and make the operator be able to respond to situations more quickly. We've continually evolved the solution with the times. That gives our customers the benefit of our, our long history and experience. At the same time, we're providing those modern interfaces that the new users of today expect. Efficient HMI uh, really aligns with a standard in the industry called ISA 101. The standard itself is trying to promote practices for consistency uh, that operators and other users can rely upon in their, in their graphical interfaces. We incorporate alarm strategies around 18.2, and we also incorporate HTML5 from the ground up, and what that means is it's very high performing. Our system provides a role-based navigation so that for that user, they can see what's important to them. Efficient HMI is really about providing a better user experience for the operator. It's, it's very hard for users to extract what's important about what's going on at that moment when they're being uh, inundated with so much unnecessary information on their screens. A couple of major pain points for operators is reducing machine downtime and decreasing risk of the operation. So the screens that they're dealing with uh, provide them instant information as to what areas of the plant they should be responding to first. And one of the ways we're helping is to build a container that allows an operator to see their plant in model context. So in other words, uh, they can see their, their assets, uh, they can see all of the information about an asset on a single screen, whether that would be all the alarms that are related to that specific asset, and as they navigate the model, you know, this, the context shifts for them, so they don't have to rebuild all the applications. We have a lot of customers that have a lot of heavy equipment, and they do regular maintenance schedules on those pieces of equipment. And that has a heavy influence as to how their operations are impacted when a piece of equipment goes down. The efficient HMI standards or the ISA 101 standards really promote the idea of common symbols to use in your process, common color patterns, common ways to position objects on a screen so that the end users can really rely upon and feel good about the information that's being presented to them. When we look at what GE has done with their WebHMI product, Predix, it allows them to rethink network schemes. The change with the WebHMI product allows us to contextualize the outcomes. So I want to know, does this pump run more efficiency when it's next to its other three pumps? Should I turn this pump up 5% or start another pump? What's the most efficient operation and ultimately what's the most cost effective? and both from a cost perspective, but also from a long-term asset play. And if I could put a screen on every device, you could do that today with the new software. It enables a mobility strategy that never existed before. Having smartphones, having screens of any size, anywhere, at any time, changes your operation. We don't want users to have to go find, hunt, and peck for information, which is time-consuming. We lessen the distractions to make them more successful. Alarms should truly drive action. We want to make sure that there's indicators across our system to notify users in a very intuitive manner as to the criticality of a situation. GE is helping customers uh, manage their alarm uh, response process better, make it very easy for the operator to understand what they need to focus on first. What it means for the future of our customers' business is less time in, in creation of the application and more time working on what's really important. We have the ability to reduce the amount of customization and touch points from a development perspective, which saves them time and money. So we bring that transformation, that digital transformation that allows you to empower people and change their technology fundamentally on how they're acting and behaving.